All right, so for January week three, I started by lightly dividing the two pages into five even sections each. Taking some watered down ivory black watercolor paint, I used my two inch hake brush to cover the pages with an even coat of watercolor one page at a time. After I coat one page, while the paint is still wet, I take a crumpled paper towel and dab at the center and at the outer edge of each space I created. This is to make cloud shapes in the gray paint as the paper towel sucks up the wet paint from those areas and leaves irregular organic looking blobs of the original paper color. I repeat this process with several coats of watercolor on each page, letting them dry in between. Next, I moved on to paper towel dipped in ivory black watercolor, creating a sort of sponge texture in the centers of the sections I made to darken those areas and create more contrast between those areas and the lighter cloud shapes. I also went in between each section with a less watery, more pigmented version of the ivory black watercolor and a smaller brush. I blotched that with paper towel as well with a lighter hand. Coming back to the dividing lines, I darkened them a little more with my lightest gray Zig Brushables marker just to shade them a little bit, but kept the blotchy texture. And then I defined the edges of the divides a little more with my Ivory Uni Posca paint marker. After writing the days of the week, I defined the edges of the clouds with a dark gray Stedtler fine liner and added some shading with my Zig Brushable blending it with my finger on the bottom edge of each cloud. Then I went back and added some highlights with the ivory paint marker once the ink was dry. Then it was just a matter of adding numbers to the days of the week. A few embellishments with my silver gel pen and the quote. This one reads, there's a bright spot in every dark cloud. I hope you liked this layout. It was a lot of work because I've never watercolored in one of my bullet journals before, so I wasn't sure how well it would work or even really what I was going to do. Please subscribe for more bullet journal action and art videos. Give this video a like if you liked it. And until next time, I'll catch you later.